Hello, everybody. This is John Fulford with Fulford's World. Hope everybody's having a good week. I wanted to do a video that was purely instructional. I know I've been doing travel videos and other things like that. So I want to make this video purely instructional. I'm going to tell you what to do to your uh, pieces of music to make them a lot more usable on television and in films. And this, this one thing, I'm not going to have a long preamble, okay? This one thing, it's super easy to do and it's super important. And if your competition isn't doing this, you're going to leave them in the dust real quick, okay? Oh, yeah, and check out my website here, musicmegapanel.com. I announced my, uh, my music and film panel for July 19th in Hollywood. Okay, so what you have to do is make the endings of your songs, they call them either button endings, sting out endings, stinger endings. There's a lot of jargon for it. But essentially, your songs have to end... Um, not in a fade out. It's the opposite of a fade out. Okay, it's a definitive and big, grandiose ending. And I'm going to splice in in post production here a couple of examples. I'm going to take a cue, a random cue from my library, and I'm going to play it with a fade out ending. So you, so everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. So here it is with a fade out ending. Okay, now I'm going to take the same cue as it was originally written. See, I did the fade out in post-production. I'm going to take the same cue at, as it was originally written with a, 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 a sting out. Ending. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? That's the difference. The first version of the track I played, you don't want that. You want the second version. And it was told to me after I moved to L.A. and I, I went to visit a music supervisor for reality TV. And she said, now that you're in L.A., I'm going I'm to tell you how to get it done. I said, okay. She said, and this is true amongst m most, if not all, reality TV-based supervisors. If there's a mediocre cue with a great ending, they'd rather have that over a great cue with a fade-out ending. So if you're putting fade outs on your endings, you can't do that no more. You got to switch to the, a defined sting out, stinger, or button ending. There's different terminology. Essentially, it's the opposite of a fade out. Definitive ending, and it's good to make, to make it ramp up towards the end, a big crescendo, grandiose, explosive ending for your cues. And I will say... I understood why this is. It's because it's, it's a lot easier to edit to picture if you have a defined ending. And I've been editing my travel videos. And I wanted to use some songs with fade outs of like friends and stuff. It's just so much harder to, to edit in a song with a fade out than it is with a sting out ending. Okay. So that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much. Please go to this website, musicmegapanel.com. I have the music supervisor for Straight Outta Compton and the music supervisor for Deadpool, among three other esteemed panelists that are going to speak on the panel Tuesday night, July 19th in Hollywood, California. Audio recordings are available as well, so any, anybody anywhere in the world could participate. Email me anytime at musiclicensingpodcast at gmail.com for more information. Thank you very much for watching. This is John Fulford, a.k.a. Young Heisenberg for Fulford's World. <laughs>